What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today, and we are headed to week 11 with some injuries. Of course, back-to-back -back wins should have been four in a row, but we choked against Washington. Well, a certain guy that you know, has the name of a place that people go publicly with their dogs or their kids. There's a lot of grass. I'm not going to point any, you know, fingers or name any names, but, you know, plays a very important position, and, you know, there, there's that. Uh, Johnny Menzel-type clone. I mean, it could be anyone, but, yeah, we, we sold there, and we should have had four in a row. Would have been three, four and five, which definitely seems a lot better than three and six, believe it or not. We also brought back another player from the grave, basically, to replace an injured player like we are talking about. These injuries are piling up. We need replacements. No breakout player, so uh, obviously I don't feel so bad about bringing a player in because, you know, the focus could be anyone's this week. We have some breakout, or uh, some breakout, I wish. Some training. We'll get to the, to the player, but let's first take a look at the weekly awards. So, do we get, give one of those up? The Texans. I don't think I've seen a Texans on there. I mean, that's half the goal, is just not give up players of the week. And hey, we did it. Screw it, we're going to show you who the new player is. They're not going to start right off the gate, because I want Albert O to get his chance, but it's Jermichael Finley, the 35-year-old, the now 35-year-old man. Why did I think 85, by the way? What the hell is wrong with me? I was, like, looking for his number. I don't know why I thought 85 is the number he wore. Am I on, like, Crystal? Like, uh, but of course, 80, uh, you know, we're going to try to get him 88, assuming there's not like an obvious. Never mind. I, I know why I wanted 85 now. Albert, uh, the, you know, good old Donald Parham is literally the number. Jermichael Finley at 85 looks pretty cool, though. 235, 65, star. Lost a little bit of weight. Uh, that and the game didn't allow me to put 247 pounds on because the game is just the way it is. Lots of traits because that's the way the man was. Of course, the injury and toughness is a little rough, so... We will feel, feel really, really bad if this man gets injured again. I'm going to be honest. We're just going to release him and just not talk about it if it happens. I think these are fair ratings. The man retired. I wouldn't say too early because it was for the better uh, part of his health. He's going to be playing number two tight end. Alberto is going to get a legitimate shot to play, to burn, to dominate. So we'll, we'll see what, you know, goes on with that. Obviously, we do have to take a look at the defense real quick because, I mean, we got to look at the defense. <laughs> There's nothing else to it. Uh, of course, some upgrade points there as well. Mario Williams, not a bad week last week. And, yeah, I mean, we're going into a matchup against another 3-6 uh, and six team. Got some upgrade points. Kind of on a roll. We we could turn it around, man. Like I said, 9-7, and seven, I feel, could be good enough in a 7-playoff spot formula. I, I think, or format, whatever you want to call it, I think we can do it. We just got to make sure we only lose one more, and it cannot be today. It's got to be against an actually good team, because if it's lo you lose today, it's just like, well, it's a GG, isn't it? All right, we got some upgrade points. Earl Gil oh, we don't have as many upgrades as I thought, but Mr. Gilchrist, is this giving him an ability point? Now, I keep saying that, but it's literally 85. I suppose field general, it kind of gives you a little bit of everything or a little bit of nothing in this case. Two blocks. Oh, that's great. Zone and block shed is exactly what I want. Maybe man coverage now, but block shed's like obviously the number one. Julian Love. Going to go with man coverage. Did he just go up two overalls? What a G. Three tackle, two man, and an agility. Very good upgrade. Holden Hill probably really good at man, not at zone. So we're going to go with zone. Hopefully slot doesn't overtake. It does not. Plus five to zone. Let's go. One to excel, one to zone. Interesting. And then Robinson, who I always call Brooks. I suppose we'll just get his own coverage. And what do we get? What do we get? No one cares, honestly. He's kind of fast, though. Hey, we're freaking finally in the game. Some injuries, some rain, some probable uh, sadness coming. Uh, weather. At least, hey, it's raining, so we, you know, the tears aren't going to be able to be seen that well. Once again, pyrotechnics in the rain doesn't seem very realistic, but here we are going against the Eagles in the rain. The rain is not good for us at all, like literally at all, especially with, you know, the lacking in the backfield. Now, King played really well in his starting game, but I really just do not trust him to carry the primary load. I just feel like he's, he's just too injury prone for it, but I suppose... There's not much more to it. You gotta gotta give him a chance. Uh, is that Parham? Is that Donald? Pa is that Parham practice? Don't get me wrong. I would love for him to play today, but he just so happens to be dead. So uh, 
Sure, man. I mean, I'm not going to put much stock in his chances today, but who knows? <laughs> I suppose. There you go, Pat McAfee. Shining star on this crap fill. Crap landfill. It's a crap fill. All right, kicking a deep to what would appear Rondale Moore. Maybe it's Herman Moore. Who freaking knows at this rate? And he's going to be stiff arming down to the 26 yard line. Quarterback appears to be Gardner Minshew. I'm not an expert at visions. It is Gardner Minshew wearing number five for the Philadelphia Eagles. 16 touchdowns, 11 picks, 2,331 yards, and forearm bands. They're like wristbands, but forearms. All right, everyone, come down for your surprise. Over the middle, and what is, don't tell me this is a freaking roughing the passer penalty. It was a blitz, and it was probably late, but let's be honest. And there you go up the middle, he makes up for it. Makes up for it quite a bit, because he gets a sack. I mean, not really, because it's like half the yardage he gave up. But I suppose, uh, thanks, I, I guess, thanks man. Sweet. Flowers not having a bad start to the season, even though it's like we're halfway through. Kirkpatrick, very, very close to hitting him late. And that will get him to right about where they were to start. We got to come with the blitz. Give him a little bit of cushion. And Kemp, all over it, actually gives up the completion. And no, not another player. Clavon Chase on. Had himself a nice couple of games recently. Got himself a breakout scenario. Start of element right now. Injured. Looks fine, but... I mean, Parm didn't look too bad himself, and we all know what happened to him. He's playing this week, apparently. <laughs> Ooh, huge hit on Josiah Scott. Okay field position, and we're back on offense. And by back, I mean literally we're just starting. To the outside, King. Nabbers finally getting a block. Unfortunately, we got caught up on the Jermichael Finley block. Not a bad block by Finley, just ultimately uh, didn't have enough room. Te pectoral strain. There's nothing I like. I almost said tectonic strain, which is, you know, that's a very serious issue. Don't want the plates all messed up. Oh, we gotta run. We had Scotchul almost picked. What a throw on the money low ball. If he would have picked that off, I would have called the police. I would have called Parham to come in on and just assault the guy, honestly. There's no other way around it. The best option I had. It's really my only option. And, uh, you know, a little bit of pressure. Albert O going to gain about seven. Let's go with an out for Albert. As we're supposed to be bringing an extra blocker. Actually, no, we are going to block. They look like they're bringing the extra over there. Finley could take a shot, too. Oh, I thought that was a corner route. And that is what we like to call a rookie move. Rookie, rookie mistake there as we, we just step out of bounds. <laughs> we, just, we give ourselves a 12-yard sack. Ooh, Albert, catch this. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Saved by the bell because we just absolutely sold. I, I mean, it was kind of overthrown too, we're going to be honest. So works out. Jermichael, we should go with King here. On the run again, it's working out so far as King is going to take this down to the 15, violently tackled, actually to the 14. Once again, another weird one, another strange one, but God, he could be our 5 for 5 touchdown, man. Oh, that is a little bit of pass interference, but it doesn't matter as Scotty catches another low ball touchdown, 5 for 5, right off the gate, looking strong. Parsons off the edge. Parsons forcing the issue and... I'll be honest, here's the thing. Kemp got destroyed. I don't blame him. You know, press against a good wide receiver, it happens. But he recovered. He didn't need to grab him. Overthrown, recovered the play. I'm like, can I... It's a smart idea in theory, but he had the recovery, and um, it, it's Kemp, so obviously no matter what he does, I will love him forever, so who cares. But uh, a gain of two here after the big pass interference penalty. Oh, good job, everybody. The blockers were really good for them. We just had the numbers... We filtrate, and now it's a third and six. This man's wearing a full, like, about to solve a mystery Sherlock Holmes FBI coat. Come on, man. It's not that rainy. Oh, get up there, Holton. That's a pretty close. King up the middle is almost face mask there. Gains two somehow. And we're going to test that, and Albert O comes up with it. That is exactly why we're giving him some time rather than just slapping Finley in the starting lineup. Hell, when you sign a guy like Finley, you probably shouldn't even have him start much at all. And he's already played a decent bit of snaps, mainly as a blocker. 
up the middle. King will get a nice couple of blocks all the way for a gain of 13. Uh, okay, first and 10, Alberto, double move. A little premature, and he makes it happen. I'm going to be honest. Alberto's kind of shown me how potentially replaceable Donald Parham is. It just, I'm just... Who's, what? Did someone say something? <laughs> oh, man. 22-yard line, Daniel Parks, RPO. But I'm going to be honest. Oh, look at King. Eh, kind of hurt us, actually. Down to the 10. No first down chance. But... I was going to hand that off no matter what. Maybe that makes me a, a bad quarterback. Maybe Daniel Parks needs to actually read the play, but I just felt like it was a run all the way. Bush could be our look. Depends on what the safety does. And the safety leaves it. Bush is wide open. Touchdown. That safety never had a shot. Bayard gets torched. Bush on the come up the last few weeks. All right, Parsons, you had a nice little play earlier, and he gets locked up this time. By the way, every... Oh, jeez. Oh, he's still going. Huge hit by Brooks. Um... Every time I try to make a pass rush attempt, does that, like, lose a bar? So, like, basically any time I use her, a pass rusher, am I, like, ruining their whole game? Like, is the whole drive over because I used her them one time? Like, there's one. There's – he's kind of, like, lose. I don't know, dude. Malik Jefferson off the edge. Now, we got, got a bunch of different people playing for Chase on. This really just shows how weak we are at the pass rush department. Up the middle, Hudson misses the tackle but slows him down from Mario. Big boy Williams. Oh, is that a screen? I was about to say, Mario's got a bit of a look, and that is just a perfect call. Doesn't wait for his blockers, but obviously doesn't need to, and probably smart not to. You never know what can happen. You wait for your blocker, somebody pushes that blocker, gets him off guard, and he just falls into you, and it's fourth down instead of a wide open first. I know that's very far-fetched, but things happen. We're living in uh, 2023 now, aren't we? 2022? Things are happening. Good as a number two, I guess. And really good D. Who is that? Hudson. Hudson making plays. He's very 50-50 of a player, but he obviously has lots of potential. Come on, big boys. This is Kirkpatrick's time to shine. Jump. Oh, that's Holton Hills. Good D. Try to get the hand on it. Fourth and one. They're going to go for it. Ooh, fourth and one from the 42. Get in there, Kirk. Drags are open, and that is more open as they easily crush us to the 20. All right. That was a really unfortunate fourth down conversion, especially since it was eight. Hey, get in there. Thank you. Especially since it was like not just like a couple of yards. You got a long tier two sub he is. We already knew that, but I'm just mentioning it. Oh, uh, what's up? Oh, but to say free hit sticks for everyone. Question is, do you give them... Never mind. I thought it was a hold. Forget about it. We actually have a little Sue on our hands, don't we? We literally do. Of course, appreciate it. It's on Andrew and welcome. How is the curling of weights, obviously? There goes Gilchrist. Nice hit. Gain of two. Flowers, get in there. Oh, Parsons pushes the tackle pretty much into the quarterback and grabs him for the sack. Uh, Flowers. Damn it, dog. Parsons. Mm. I have an issue as well. Another roughing the passer penalty. And the worst part is it's not even the game. We're literally just hitting them late. <laughs> it's just happening. We're literally hitting them late. It has nothing to do with anything. We're just a dirty damn team. Oh, look at him go. Three yards, uh, two yards game for Austin Eckler. We're almost at halftime, and we still don't even know exactly position for position who they have at each position. Interesting. Gilchrist. Okay, only a gain of one. I suppose at the end of the day, if we can hold them here, the penalties actually maybe hurt them more than it helps them because, oh, Gilchrist, that's not good. Oh, read. You've got to be joking me. Yo. We had a guy run across, miss the, the read op, and then Robinson, who I hate, Get stiff armed by Gardner Minshew. Bro, you can't. Right, so far in the game, Daniel Parks looking like an absolute hero. Working on that that throwing motion has definitely helped him so far. Also, the new face mask. Maybe you can actually see the field. Albert over the middle. Aiken, probably unlikely, but King on a quick throw could be the look. You know what? Screw it. It's got outside leverage, right? 
Hello? What? What? Okay, I, I guess I guess players have to be like five yards wide open on this game to be able to beat. Oh, Chase on's back. Oh no no no! Thank you, Kemp. You god. I guess I shouldn't have taken a shot to a six foot five guy in one on one coverage when he got beat. Over the middle is wide open. And there goes Parsons. Maybe should have went for the regular tackle, but try to get him down as quickly as possible. All right, bring everyone up. Maybe play the outside. You know, maybe do whatever you got to do to survive. Over the middle. Thank God all they do is throw slants and drags and curls. Oof. Damn, this is disgusting behavior. Oh! Give him the one-two shimmy shake. Parsons with the pop. All right, Brooks, you got to come up. And there goes Parsons again. What a player. Uh, the middle king on the trap play. Hide. Ah, that's all right. That's all right. Gains four. Gets out of danger. Don't throw it deep ever. Alberto not looking bad. Runs a man right over, too, using that size. A lot bigger than I would have imagined, to be honest. Just reminds me of a wide receiver, really. Yeah, we can't even get that throw off. That is instantaneously right after us with Miles Garrett off the edge. Gotta remind myself that. And that is, I imagine he's in his own end zone, pressures him, but it's first down. It's right out the window though. I think no matter what, you gotta just keep this. Pitch it! And then King doesn't, rec you have got to be kidding me. They're going for the run defense. Alberto looks pretty good here, but if we don't keep Aiken away, Probably not gonna work well, so let's let's try this. Maybe that safety wants to bite again. <laughs> and he does. Alberto's got a shot. <laughs> Alberto has a shot. How is Bayard? What is going on with Bayard? He's like, what is that? Maybe he bites, and he does. He literally sat in the hook and got torched. What a throw by Parks as well. I will take that. Boom. Perfect kick as well. Alberto, no way they give him stop him what parm's uh looking a little interesting at this point in time went from normal to superstar x factor i don't know why albert oh couldn't it's looking pretty good right now I'll tell you what going against some pretty good safeties too even though bard's playing like an idiot stepping up turn around love come on kemp ain't messing around boy that boy kemp don't mess around okay i don't care let me, like, we don't even have our freaking play set, man. <laughs> play set, what are we, child? Get over there! Oh, Brooks knocks it out. Nice. Not another injury. Please, Kirk. Can we get over there in time? He's got the deep look. And he gets hit as he's throwing by a guess who? The Terminator coming back. So they look like Aiken's going to be covered, but Bush going against that... That weak spot of theirs. Alberto. Ooh, that's just not even close. Scotty Miller may have had uh, Aiken, but I don't trust any deep route from this team anymore, really, unless they're wide open. May have had him. That is ambitious. Definitely not going to get that over there. Play action look. Get a block for now, Alberto. We're going to try to set this up to Bush or Scotty Miller. And that's pretty good. Sit down on it. Smart timeout. Shot play for Bush. And he misses. It's my fault. I went for a high point. I, I thought the guy was going to cover him, and he just did not. That's my fault. Factoid. We got to take that. That's a pretty good throw. Kevin Byard is going to lose his job. He is going to lose his job. That was a fat dime. Of course, they're going to have the booth review that. But how does he hit these throws when they're, like, covered so tightly? But when it comes to, like, hitting a wide-open guy, he's like, sorry, can't. Oh, Albert, sorry, he's not even close. I think you you wheel king, but you really pay attention to that D-line while you do it. Aiken. Oh, good try by Aiken. Hit as we're throwing. Miles is a monster. Of course, it's going to be a bit of a tough field goal, but been okay in field goals and whatnot. Let's try it. That's that's not going in. That's just so tough. 
it's in. I am actually surprised that the rain and wind and all that that it went in. To be fair, the wind's only at two mile per hour, I think. Anything over like a three, we'd have been going. All right, looking at halftime, uh, we did kind of sell a little bit. We, we put them in the game more than they put themselves in the game, but we are up by 10. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure we get the ball here at half. The yardage, though, crushing them. We got to get back to the ground. Hey, flashbang. See you later. Got to get back to the ground game for sure, though, as uh, we need to get a little bit of this clock off, and it seems like the ground game, we may have a bigger chance to have to punt, but it'll be a lesser chance to probably turn the ball over. And, of course, the highlight of the game, I think, is still Parks, but I can't be mad with them highlighting Alberto, who has had a massive one today. You bring in Jermichael Finley, and he's like, Jerhukalwiken? I don't even know. I just said, is that like German? Not wrong. I still don't throw it right away. And hit as he's thrown, obviously. I think I had a quick look to Saudi, but with that kind of pressure, I was worried, so... I didn't do it. So, of course, we didn't look at their team, but uh, Gardner Minshew, Caleb Bird, the rookie. They took this guy super high, and they didn't start him. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, but really, with the throw power and all, the Yankee with no brim? That's so old. It's like months ago. Austin Eckler with 90 overall. Uh, pretty damn fast. Wide receiver A.J. Brown, Will Fuller. Some pretty good players. Obviously, Rondale Moore. Uh, Foster Moreau, eh, eh. O-line, center is solid, right tackle solid, left end, good run stopper, Miles Garrett does it all. Danny Shelton earlier uh, was injured, but I think he's fine now. Uh, Bilal Nichols looking decent, and then Devon McDaniels not using him. Harsh stuff. Left out sucks, middle linebacker is really bad, uh, right out's kind of sucky. Corners are okay, free safety on paper is good, but he hasn't been good, and then Ronnie Harrison, uh, solid but slow. And that is a rough drop. That's a tough throw to make. I can't even, I can't even line. I will say Parks' percentage has dropped massively, though. He was like 12 for 16. Now he's like 12 for 21. So failing a little bit here to get some completions. Alberto. Where is that headed? Ooh. They got greedy. I'm going to blame that on Kevin Byard for them. I took a shot to Albert, but I tried to take a shot left. Wasn't a good decision, uh, but yeah, that pass rush got to us. Good decision by them to bring it to the outside. Love cannot tackle. We thought Duvall was a bad tackler, which he is. This man worse. Oh, man. Second and one is like the worst thing that can happen to us. I trust in Kemp, but like, this is a shot play waiting to happen. We, we selling out for the run. We selling out for the run. Are you joking me? Thank God Mario tripped him. I mean, uh, what? Oh, Mario! I kind of hit him late. Oh, we gave him... Gave Brooks a free shot and he didn't follow through. Come on, big boy. Black lock. Oh! The lock that is black. <laughs> sure. You say so. Man, we have a lot of players on this D-line that have so, so, so much potential. It's the one position we are, are fine with. We just got to get one of them to actually develop, right? Damn it, Hudson. Good job by Gilchrist picking it up, but that's going to be pretty much a first down, and it is a first down. I thought it was maybe short. Up the middle, there's no one in sight, and down to the two. Certain ones, some would say. Oh, good cutback by Eckler. <laughs> Do not show a replay of Gilchrist, because I uh, I have embarrassed this man. Come back to the running back if we have to. And we did stop him. You know, anything short of a field goal would be an L for our timeout usage, but I mean, we can recover on this, but this is so tough. Like, this could be a... I mean, it could be anything. And I knew what it was going to be! I had an idea that it was going to be a sneak, but I just could not tell, or a draw. That sucks. All right, inside zone. I mean, this is the reason why we haven't run much today. They just... They look like they want to stop the run. And King's life almost stopped. What? The outside, I mean, we're kind of selling here. Like, this is like, we're just handing the drive away if we don't get a decent block. Like, it's just... They've, they've been stopping the run. This is uh, third and ten. Out route look, bush deep. I feel like we should bring... Can we bring Alberto to the other side? Damn, dude. Aiken, oh my, that is so badly thrown, dude. Come on, Parks! 
have not completed a uh, completion in like almost 10 throws now. Depends on what Parsons is going to do. Don't. The lads. We brought the lads. Five yards gain. To the out. Oh, there's nobody on this, man. There you go, Brooks. Don't wait. And Duvall, of course, as always, selling. Slows him down enough, though, at least. Hey, move it up. Thank you. That's what I want. Somebody get in there. Duvall sucks and not as bad as the rest of the guys. Just literally toss him over the line for the first. Mario holding up. There you go, boys. Finally a loss. Well, kind of a loss. 20 for 60, and this is the game we're losing. We're about to be losing, at least. Blacklock! Kemp! Picked off! He's a lockdown already! He's already locked down! Let's go! Third pick of the year. Another clutch one for the freaking books. He's too good. Why would you... Of all the players you could test on this team, why, why him? Hey, he caught it. Nice throw for once. Bush, nine yards. Let's be honest. Miles isn't going to fall for it. Oh, he actually fell for it. But King had so much more room. Slips off the tackle. Takes it to the 47-yard line. Big game like this. Do I trust him? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Alberto ca almost caught it, but they bumped into each other. For real. That's, that's what we're going to do, guys. King from the 47. Cuts it back in. Tries to cut it. Well, cuts it left. Tries to cut it back in after... You know, we weren't going to get as much room as we thought. Turned into a five-yard gain. Not bad. And most people would wait. I'm not waiting. Is why we're not waiting, boys. Alberto maybe had a look, but Parks, freebie first down. Let's go. Wait, how does that count as negative? Finley? I could have taken Bush. We're going to take Finley. Little sidearm throw. Finley for the first down. 11 yards gained. Let's go to the read option look. Obviously, last time, uh, Miles kind of looked a little iffy. Looked like he was going to stop it. And Miles is an interesting fella. Parks. Get out of bounds there. Gained about five. Not bad. Guess it's not. We're just going to run up the middle anyways. Second and five. Even we gained like two yards. Oh! King. Oh! King just took a pop, and he kept on fighting. He's going to die. Pitch to the right. Oh, King's got a shot. Damn, man, where's my cut move? Four yards gain, not bad. Not bad, though. Albert O, oh, I don't know if I can trust him, but we'll do it. Don't know if I can trust him, we'll do it. And we can trust him, wide open. Perfect fake out. It looked like an obvious run. It wasn't. Touchdown. Let's go. Yards, we're almost doubling them, so it makes sense that we're leading, but can we hold on? That's the question. Had a little bit of a choky moment there. We got back through it. Not going to hit him late. Oh, we were about to. Oh, we missed hard with Kemp. That wasn't Kemp. Why would I think that's Kemp? Kemp did get kind of beat up. He just pushed the guy down back there. But Kemp did get handled on that block. Can't really blame him, though. It's, it's not easy. Kemp is so good, though. Like, it's not just because he's playing, like, the outside corner role. Because, you know, Holton, uh, Holton Hill struggles there all the time. Oh, man. That is good hit by Brooks kind of Kemp's fault. He's playing the deep blue there. The other guy's, I think, in a purple, so yeah, it's, it's more Kemp's fault than the guy playing the purple, for sure. Right, Gilchrist. Oh, that's a screen. They only have one guy out there, though, and there's a few players that'll miss some tackles on this team. Well, quite a few, actually, but Gilchrist is typically not one of them. What a play out in space. Chase on is not going to be able to push through. And, ooh, Cholian Love has been kind of destroyed all day. Off the edge, I think Chase on dropping back isn't the worst call in the world. This could be a screen. Oh, it is a screen. And why is he hitting him late there? As Flowers makes an amazing tackle. I suppose a first down here doesn't hurt us that much. Depends on where they put it, though. And they put it at the 9. Yeah, that's not bad. Second and 5 from the 18. I would rather have them at the 9. And, ooh... Kirkpatrick with another injury, dude. Oh, and I actually told him to come back in. Man, watch him get hurt on this one play. And Hudson. Well, there you go. I guess it was a sign I should have called a timeout. Ah, we cut back way too hard left. 
I wanted to avoid that linebacker that was running up on us, but we I tried to go between the center and the guard like I was mentioning and just over-pursued. We tried this play earlier. It just did not work. If I'm going to go to, to Aiken, even though we're rolling out to the right, I want a streak. Actually, we did get this play earlier. I don't trust any throw. Parks wide open for the first down. Probably shouldn't be going out of bounds, but here we are. Oh, there you go. Man, King loves that move where, like, they try to rip the ball out. I mean, maybe he doesn't like it because he's obviously trying to avoid getting stripped. But, you know, he's, he's slipped off of it a few times now. We're going to go with the drag look to Bush. And Bush is open. We're going to avoid the hits. Try to stay in bounds or, you know, just go right out of bounds. Cool, dude. Oh, that's a great throw. It's out of bounds again, which kind of hurts us. But when it's that good of a gain, it's, it's worth the trade-off every day. This could be a really big play for us, but we'll see. We'll see what they, they read. I can't tell. And Parks off the edge has some room. Ooh, that was risky. I need Alberto to get there. That's a touchdown. That was scary. Is he Tebowing? Is that what he's doing? Don't tell me Tebow is back. Up the middle, King from the 12. First down up the two. And that is a, just a terrible job by the center there. Only a two-yard gain. Should have been potential touchdown. I mean, if we score a touchdown from here, that's that's GG. The game's over. Try it again. Right up the middle, King. Oh, look at the block following one yard short. This is brutal. This is brutal. I really want to run that triple option again, but man, do I not trust anything. Fake reverse. They kind of look like they are ready for this. Whatever, we're going to try it. Oh, we got lucky. Terrible play call, but they faced masked us. Oh, my Lord. Even though I think we'll be wide open for a passing touchdown, I'm going to just run it. Hopefully, we don't fumble. As King is not going down, he gets kind of wobbled down to the two, though. Do we try another pitch play? It didn't work the many times we tried. Aiken's a big fella. I'd be willing to go to the right. I think this is a clear cut touchdown. And that is just perfect blocking. Way to go, team, and that should be enough to hold on for three straight. Let's go. What's he doing? What are they doing? Are they filling, like, a furnace up with coal? I, I don't know. Damn it. Almost right. Kemp trying to strip the ball out. Not a bad call. We literally will give it to him. We're, gi we're giving it to him as we speak. Mario on the double. Can't get away. Is that Kemp again? Oh, Kemp just got moss. That sucks, dude. Damn, son. Damn, they moving the ball, though. Like, this is, like, gone, like, not at all for them. I don't even know what that means here. Wide open to the outside. That's our fault. We got caught up. Did, couldn't waste the time out there. Couldn't waste the time out. If we even get the ball, you never know. There you go, Aiken falling down to the 45, not bad. I think running pitches isn't the worst call. It's a waste of a couple of seconds just pitching the ball, and in general, they're not bad plays, so let's go for it. Oh, someone's got to block that guy. Oh, someone's got to block that guy. Pitcher right from the 46-yard line, really good blocks. King has a chance to seal it. Hit stick for the win. Uh, right? Right? It is. Let's go. Man, they really did not want to go away. That is actually insane. Of course, uh, this is what the game looks like. Stats, we definitely outperformed them. Um, but yeah, that's 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 sweet. There we go. <laughs> I would not be celebrating out in the rain like that. I'd be going inside so I don't get a death. Daniel Parks, after this game, I think he's one behind picks uh, touch and a pick ratio. Not bad. Lots of yards. Uh, as far as rushing goes, King ended up with 20 rushes, man. I can't imagine that it was more than, like, five, right? I can't imagine it's more than five rushes in the first half. Nine attempts for 40 yards, zero touchdowns. Uh, looking at receiving, Alberto, seven for 174 with two toe. He had a big game. Could be a star dev chance next week. Uh, defensively, Chase on with a sack. Parsons with a sack. Quentin Flowers with a sack. Oh, yeah, we got to take a look at these, actually. So, uh, four tackles for a loss, five tackles for a loss for Philly. I'm going to go on a limb and say we won that, though, because we it was, like, plus one on the sacks. And then we had, yeah, so London Bulldogs had the most sacks slash tackles for a loss. 
That is going to be week 11 in the books. Got to keep that grind going. Obviously, it's been a very close one so far as uh, we have turned the season around a decent bit. Obviously, a lot more left to go. A lot more tough opponents coming up as well. So, hopefully, you guys stay tuned in and stay dialed in like hopefully we do to turn this ship around. I don't. I, mm, I, I mean, we made it last season 8-8. Eight eight. That alone was lucky. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see, though. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care. Second channel, PK Plays. Should be a. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Should be a second channel video up on PK or Plays. And most likely a stream at either 9 or most likely 10 p.m. Central Standard Time on Twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys come back for the next video. But until next video, see ya!